Also continue to report on the facts around uh, the coronavirus. We're breaking down what's real and what's not. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia joins us with a new segment in his series of reports on the coronavirus myths. Steve. Well, guys, there are things that sound pretty good and maybe even logical and things that show up repeatedly on social media making you think they're true, but they are just myths. Here's a couple we ran across. Myth, there's a cure available online to prevent the disease. No, there is no cure. The so-called cure for COVID-19 involves a substance called Miracle Mineral Solution. It's been online for years, touting itself as a cure for everything from cancer to hepatitis to AIDS and autism. But the FDA says it's little more than bleach and you wouldn't drink bleach, would you? Now, the product goes by different online names, such as Master Mineral Solution, Miracle Mineral Supplement, MMS, Chlorine Dioxide Protocol, and Water Purification Solution. The FDA has been warning against it and products with similar names since 2010. And we warned you about this dangerous practice in 2015 in a special investigative report when we said, don't use it as a medicine. And here's another dangerous practice, creating your own hand sanitizer. Here's the myth. You can make your own hand sanitizer with vodka. We all know there is a shortage of hand sanitizer because people have been purchasing way more than they need, leaving the store shelves bare and the substance in short supply. Recently, this advice began circulating on social media that you could use vodka, specifically Tito's vodka, as a makeshift hand sanitizer because of its high alcohol alcohol content. Don't do that. The CDC says that hand sanitizer needs at least 60% alcohol to be effective. Tito says its vodka only has 40% alcohol. It is only meant for drinking. Just because the label says handmade doesn't mean you can use it on your hands. As we hear about more of these myths regarding the coronavirus outbreak, we'll pass them on to you because our goal is to reduce your anxiety about the situation. We don't want to add fear. We want to help you. And working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.